All right. I recently made it to 500 days in bottom earth. The earlier episodes are a little bit long and a little bit boring and not nearly as necessary as the last two. Last two are kind of solidifying my editing style. So if you would like to skip just the first couple ones and get just to the most entertaining ones, you can skip to the timestamp on screen. Okay, I don't know if there's anybody that's going to be watching these. I don't care either because this isn't for them. It's for me. I'm going to be making a series. Let me just do this. I'm going to be making a series. It's going to be called, uh, I think, Bottom Earth. Can't imagine where I got that name from. Middle Earth, Bottom Earth, Top Earth. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm gonna be recording. I'm very late. We've already we already passed early game. I've already built a starter house, and we're building a saloon. I'm gonna be doing a western style, but uh, I built a, we're building a saloon for villagers and villager trader trading. I can show you. They're just right, there's an iron golem. <laughs> They're in this little stupid egg. Um, cobblestone egg thing. And excuse the background noise, I am in a room with like, it's gonna be like four, it could be three other people to four other people at a time. And um, if I reduce the noise too much, I just sound like a robot, so. I, <laughs> which is ironic, because that's my, it's my name. My name is Robot Pineapple, but still. No! Shut up! <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's not going to be fun to watch. Anyways, so, yeah, I wish I made the progress uh, earlier, but I'm planning on, so, I know none of you care about the plans I have for the future, because why would you? But, um... One of the plans I have for this uh, channel specifically, because I am planning on it to actually uh, grow, uh, at least somewhat, is that I, I'll do many different games, not just Minecraft, and I will be... Um, I mean, I, I don't know how much I can do because there's some games that just stress out my computer too much. But I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. I'm thinking of starting a hardcore series. This is a multiplayer uh, lobby, so there should be people logging on soon. And there's some other... There's more plans for the stuff. I have mini games and ideas that I might want to make. And yeah, look at that beautiful sunset. So pretty. Minecraft is so pretty, but I hate Microsoft. Um, don't delete my account, please. Do not delete my account. So, funny thing, guys. So this is our mine right here, and down here, it's gonna take a long time for me, but it'll be. I hopefully it'll be pretty pretty quick for you. It'd be really funny if I just left that uncut and you just had to walk. Anyways, so look, you see this stuff. So I actually have a texture pack. Um, because I, well, I really like Tears of the Kingdom, and I really like the gloom in Tears of the Kingdom, and this is Skulk. So what we did is we dug to about here, um, and when I say we, there's other people that play with me, they're not currently, ooh, okay, give me that. Just one, ooh, some more. More right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that diamond's I'm worth it. I don't, I, 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 uh, I completely freeze up at this new stupid update. The, I mean, it's not the newest one. The newest one's the little stuff. Anyways, we found this. Ah. Shut up, I'm not moving. 
I'm shifting now. We found there's there's like three of these. We found three of these. One is right underneath uh our my starter base, and this is our. Uh, uh, I don't think there's any shriekers nearby, so I think we're good. But this is our diamond mine, and it, it's it's right because this is the straight down over here i'm sorry i cannot focus i'm just terrified i'm hoping not to s set up one set off one the warden already spawned in a few times and i hate it the texture pack that we have makes it look like a freaking like gloom monster and i i hate it when everything is red what's blue it like looks kind of nice i guess if you can call it that it's still scary that's the basic of the world tour right now there's a really cool spot I want to put like my main base over but that's that's kind of it for now what I'm gonna do now or what we're gonna do now probably is build the rest oh, of this and no, it's not my get it uh, detailed my, my... one day in the future I might get the replay mod but right now I just don't like using it because I don't know how to navigate it very well at the moment so I don't use that and also I'm just starting out in general my whole experience for this is simply just one single like video editing class that I took in high school and that's all the knowledge I have oh and yeah see look I already messed up that's all the knowledge I have for uh, making videos and stuff so this is like really the first time I've really tried to do anything like this and it would be great if we could it could if it could take off but it's probably not i just thought i would make something because i i have a little bit of free time right now and i i have a lot of fun and i i do like video editing it's pretty good so anyway that's that's the building blocks over there made we got to make some floor and ceiling <laughs> proud of that. That is a pretty good looking building. I really like that building. That looks really, really good. I'm really, I'm really happy about this. Uh, I'm not happy about the floating bits right there, but I just realized something. I built up with the uh, oak logs and my pickaxe just broke, so... No, not my pickaxe, my regular axe. So I have to break this all by hand. Yeah? Yes? Come here, come here, come here. You're gonna sound very echoey, by the way, unless you have your own microphone. I did some scouting. And I found a cool place. <laughs> Not mean to do that. What? You can waterlog yeah, me? I'm gonna start again. I'm following a tutorial. Yep. I forgot you could do that. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, right here at the end of the lake. Well, this is cool, but it's actually this is cool for something, but maybe like a mine entrance or some kind of like powerful thing leading up to the top. Uh, I would really like everybody to be connected by water, kind of like we ha did uh, oh, so last this time. Like a, this can make like a water. No, what I mean is like by the river, you know? So like we can, we take a boat and stuff. Well, I could kind of have like, there's probably already patterns down here, but what be? No. You had the same impulsive thought that I did. Uh, was your impulsive thought to drown it? 
Oh, no, I was gonna <laughs> smack it. But... Ooh, our stuff. Here, wait, come here, come here, come here. I got a question. Stand, stand right here, stand right here. Is, look at me, is this plagiarism? Yeah. Yeah, so the only issue I can foresee with you is, uh, have fun getting up and down the mountain without, That's... without an elytra. <laughs> that is a problem yeah, for future me, and so is the base. But, I really want this peak. Now, now is not the time for future me. Uh, Now's the time for back. present me. I'm taking the stony peaks instead of the frozen peaks. Because frozen peaks, it's easier to troll somebody by sending a warden up their elevator shaft. Okay. Don't worry, that probably won't stand. Wouldn't, wouldn't a dark wizard tower look so good right here? I think it would. <laughs> Emeralds. The highest peak in, like, the world in... Nope, not. I've been on higher mountains before. It's still pretty decent. Also, did you know... You can clutch with powdered snow? I did not know that. And can you, can you put put powdered snow in the... The nether? Yes. It's actually preferable. Yeah, it's for your hippie water. Like all, the real, all the real meta game. You left your water here. Yeah, I did. Okay, I need. We need to head back home. It's getting too dark. Yeah. Well, it will. You know what's? You know what's good, Ethan? I'm. I'm way more. Uh, well, I'm not in front of a camera, but I'm more confident because I'm a lot more relaxed. So I. I am. He's got a shiv. I'm I way more. I think I'm way more capable of making a video, like an actual Minecraft video that oh, yeah. I, I I might goodness. enjoy watching and so that's that's why I think I want to finally start and I've just kind of realized that to start I just need to do it so I'm even doing it when Daniel's talking and stuff I guess that concludes the episode I guess I don't know how far I'm gonna get in the next one yo dude I summoned a warden hello welcome back to Bottom Earth Episode 2. We are going to be making the interior of this build now because I did the exterior last episode. And I've already been gathering some resources, so some spruce, and then there over here there's gonna be some oak and some birch. Now what we got over here we got some Fletchers for the stick trade because that's how I'm gonna get emeralds early game But if you look over here We have some weaponsmiths and they both have the iron trade so something I might do in Potentially this episode or in a future episode is make an iron farm But right now What we're gonna do is in here. I think over here in this kind of corner area. I'm gonna put the Fletchers. I'm gonna make some uh, decoration like some like Like an arrow shop or something, you know something that looks kind of in theme of what they are supposed to be and then like weaponsmiths might be next here and then upstairs or something might be mending or librarians or something but right now we don't have those, so we won't worry about those. We'll just worry about the villagers we do have. And when we make more villagers, we'll put them in uh, different spots. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. And I may make a quick montage. Actually, I lied. We are going to be going to the depths first before I do any sort of montage -y thing or time lapse or whatever. I won't do a time lapse because I don't have the replay mod. We're heading into the depths to go, not fight a warden, but raid the uh, city. Who calls it an ancient city? We have a gloom texture pack. We call it the depths around here. The depths. We're heading into the depths. Very scary depths. And I, I don't really want to do this. I have potatoes. That's. Did you bring a. We have like six more uh, enchanted golden apples for my last couple runs. I don't want to bring one of those. Those are more for display and it's not hardcore, so. Bro, bro there's six of them. 
Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go in the cringe way or do you want to go in my way? I'll go in your way. Okay, so first things first before entering the ancient city. Step one options, controls, e bon Wait, no. Options, controls, sneak, toggle. Never stop, Never stop sneaking. Look at it. Oh, yeah, see my that, see that main loot? You see that main chest right there by the fires? That's our main target for the day. Wait. That one might have been looted already. If it's not been looted already, that's what we're after. Don't worry about it. I do this with the wizard all the time. I'm very worried. Because I, I haven't really done this. I've not really explored this uh, update very much. So. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I, I brought shears. Did you bring shears? No, you probably didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, nice. Good job. Uh, where did you go? Okay. You follow me? I'm gonna go check if I looted that already. Probably did. Um. Oh, I don't know why I brought... Well, my diamond pickaxe is on life support, so... <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. I have hiccups. We might not have looted this yet, but I'm not 100% sure. There's nothing by it, so... Oh. oh. Surprise for you. You gotta unsteak. Is that it? The reason why I don't like this pickaxe is because it is silk touch. You don't like silk touch pickaxe? No, I no, no silk touch hoe. The reason why I don't like it is because uh, the reason why I don't like it here is because most of my XP I get from using the just plain efficiency vibe hoe. Okay, this is one of the best XP farms if you're not a coward. Um. To like villagers. Hop in. See, Russell, powdered snow's better because it doesn't make noises by flowing. Okay, I know where some loot chests are. Wait, where did we come from? I'll try and fix it. Let me figure that. What? Uh. <laughs> should I run? Should I run? Should I run? First, First take. take you, you get, get three. Three. Three, what? three. Three what? Three ticks. So if it goes, if it shrieks, if it shrieks once, once you're, you're good. good. If, if it shrieks twice, twice, shut up. If it shrieks three times, you're screwed. We don't. We're not even at the spot I want. Oh no, we are. Where did you go? I'm right here. Are you? Oh. <laughs> No, please don't. Don't, don't. don't step on them. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We have to coordinate this. Okay. Don't, don't break that. that. There's, there's, there's an exposed, exposed shrieker. Okay. Where? Where is it? There's like a billion exposed shriekers. That shrieker is broken now. Some shriekers you just can't break. You just have to wall off. I'm gonna open the chest. No, there's still room for them to see you. Ooh. Very risky. Swift sneak diamond horse armor for my horse? So, you mine these bottom ones? I'm gonna mine these top ones. <laughs> Two ticks. We're fine for now. Ugh, get rid of that shrieker. <laughs> oh, the protocol for if you summon a warden is sprint the other way. Or, or, or more accurately, sprint back the way you came. I don't remember where I came from. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that was instantaneous. A lot of this place is designed like a trap. One. You must have been out of range for one of the shrieks. You know, that's funny. 
Because that should have been death. That should have been death. I can't. Stop having such skill issue. Come on. I don't want to. <laughs> You're a grown man. Keep moving. I was trying to wreck it and I accidentally touched it. Um, I need to be very careful. If you sit for like a minute or two, your stuff will reset. There's the shriekers right your... here. How many? Two. Oh, oh, goody. Uh, are there any... Okay. Oh, I risked that. I risked that. Okay, I'm gonna open up... Out. Play. It might... See, it might... Some might consider it annoying to be continually shifting, but at the same time, would you rather be dead? Fire aspect too. Love Enchanted that. golden apples, saddle. Okay, what about this? Bunch okay. of low berries. I can barely. Feather falling three. Myself. It's not too loud, is it? You could have gotten us both killed if I wasn't faster. What about Fortune three? Oh. Okay, what about this? Fortune three. Ho, oh, that's amazing. I should just quit. Run this way. Uh, Run this way. Shift. Wait. Voice. You need to stay at least 12 blocks away from it. Any closer, and it can get closer. Calm down. He's just a big wimp. If we have, do you have any long-range projectiles? Ah, I do. Okay. Where is he? I see him. Where is he? Holy Where? crap, he looks so scary. Where is, Where is he? He's over there. Look, 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 I can shoot at him. Wanna, Don't wanna, shoot him, see. shoot further than him. I wanna see, I'm, I'm coming down. Oh, he's all the way over there? Bro, we have literally nothing to fear if he's all the way over there. Okay, let's, okay, let's just for safety's so measure though, just for, just for safety measure though, he'll go away in 60 seconds as long as he doesn't hear anything. Uh, so just for like safety measures, we're gonna go away from him in case someone who's an amateur at raiding these gets his attention somehow. Um, did you hear that? Hear what? Did it sound like labored breathing? A really big puff, like. Like a boom, like a. Oh, it's it's red. What is? Right, right over here. He's by the mine entrance thing. He is. Yes. Hey, hey, idiot, idiot, come here. Come here, dummy. Did you set your shift to toggle? <laughs> It's still, we already summoned a. We already summoned one warden. We don't need to summon a bajillion more. Okay, that. I don't know if I'm doing this right. that I don't want to do that again. 
that I have enough loot. I don't need anything. Let's give my horse an upgrade. All right, now with that out of the way, we can finally work on the interior of my uh, house. Let me just uh, grab some of the wood that I'm going to need. We did the Fletchers, but now we got to do the Toolsmiths. For that, I think we want to breed these a little bit more. That I think is probably getting the basic layout of the interior all the way done. Now we are going to finish the rest of the interior um, minus some of these. I'm going to make kind of shopping stalls. So there's going to be some um, some shopping and some other stuff. I don't need this here. I did uh, just learn that the barrel is a trade um, block. So they will the villagers will path find to it. I can't just use it as like a fancy old west kind of storage without getting specific, uh, specifically fishermen that want to trade. And I don't really want that yet. Let me go on Discord background. This is not... <laughs> Change your Discord settings. Okay, turn down your input volume. The city. Yeah, let the, let the Fletcher get tasty. starting to look like a saloon i'm gonna call this good for today this is pretty good you got your cleric you got your fletchers i'm gonna be using these guys a lot for the stick trade and for getting arrows these guys i'll eventually use to uh get some more tools and some other stuff i'm gonna put an armor here for diamond armor and stuff that's pretty much it i think this I think that concludes the episode so thank you for watching and that's all i was very satisfied for their episode hello welcome back to episode three of bottom earth today what we're going to be doing what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to make a iron farm right over here I've already gathered some of the resources to build it just right here in this chest. I think for today, I'm going to just straight up just start out with that. Last episode, I kind of built the interior of that. There's no need to go into the, um, the deep dark right now, so I don't need to go mining or whatever. And I'm going to be I need to build this for that so that I can trade iron and also get some more uh, tools.
I just finished the iron farm and now if We look at this. I think this looks pretty good I'm doing something differently than I normally do in the past. I would just build the farms and just kind of uh, scatter them around but this time around I'm being very deliberate about farm placement and so I'm trying to decorate this and give this a use um, that's related to the the mine right here this kind of thing is supposed to be kind of like a drill kind of looking thing this kind of looks like a like that it's it's drilling up iron there's something going down in the middle and grabbing it what happens a lot in like older and western stuff it looks like it just like pulls the resources into like a building that will be functioning as like a mine entrance and also kind of a warehouse looking thing that I'm planning on building in the future. No, <laughs> no wait, wait, let me kill him. How close to death even is he? <laughs> oh, what? Let's mock him in town square. <laughs> <laughs> so we recently got a mending villager that, that we did oh, oh, yes we did items are in and here. because of that i i want to make a little spot for it up here all right i'm gonna gather some resources and then i'm gonna start working on the mending the uh, trading making the mending villagers post and i think it looks kind of cool i don't really know what this is maybe put some like flower pots or something kind of there and then maybe some item frames with books or something later in the future and just some other stuff we also added some other details in um inside the saloon so we put a chandelier and a clock and i think it looks pretty cool now, after showing you the Mending Villagers post, we are now going to move on to building a mine entrance. So, let's get right on to that and um, enjoy the montage. That's a mine. That is a very, I think, okay looking mine. I want to change the roof a little bit, add maybe a chimney or whatever, but we'll keep this for now because I, I'm all tired out of making montages and stuff. When I hit this point in, um, in editing the video, I realized that I made a ton of progress over uh, a couple of days. But in the video, it's only going to end up being like six minutes. And so it's kind of exhausting to make more progress because I. It's not even going to be. Ooh, I'm going to be moving too fast. 
I want to make a hundred episodes before the end of the series, um, before I give it up. And right now we're on we're on three. Let me just show you why I'm worried a little bit. So over here, we have full diamond armor, and so we have full diamond armor, full tools, full whatever. We're basically ready. We basically have. Um, there's only a couple things we need before we go get the go kill the ender dragon we also have the ender pearl trade and um we have arrows other stuff we're, we're basically ready to fight this thing but the only thing we really need is um is the ender pearls themselves maybe next episode i'll go in the nether and so we can go gather some stuff like that but I'm thinking still more like episode 20 or 25 or something. That's when I probably probably closer to 20. Um, that's when um, I will would like to kill the Ender Dragon. Because right now, it's just too fast. I mean, in, fast isn't a bad thing necessarily because I don't know how much longer I want to be making um, this uh, series. Yeah, something I really want to do is play in um, in a modded server because there's there's a server with some of my friends in it and I want to play on that one. Might just uh, not halt content, but I'll just switch over. So I'll go to modded and then I'll come back here occasionally and Um, it'll be great. The other thing is I'm considering changing kind of the pace of the content because the content Sometimes it makes me tired because of uh, How much I need to do in order to keep it interesting and It just feels like I'm putting in a lot of effort and not getting very much out of it So I think I should just start slowing down a little bit uh effort wise um i have noticed my uh, cinematics have been pretty good so i might actually i have installed the replay mod but i um i think i really like optifine and for some reason fabric doesn't let those be compatible on my pc um, if I install if I install Optifine, just Optifine for Fabric, it works. But if I install the replay mod, then everything just stops working. So I have to pick one or the other. And so I'm going with uh, Optifine for now because I need I need the the solid glass textures and the lighting and some of the performance stuff. It goes along with it, but yeah, I think that might wrap it up for this episode just because I don't want to Although I do think this episode will be a lot shorter. I think that I Don't want to get too Too far advanced too quickly because I I Don't want to burn myself out When the content isn't really taking off and not really getting very much views. There's not really a lot of effort for me <laughs> I just think there's an imbalance there so that's going to be the end of the video thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the little edits i did with the montages and some of the other stuff what we will do in the next episode is i think build some sort of stable and and maybe sort out these farms because right now they're just kind of in the middle of nowhere until we get to that point See ya. Welcome back. I believe this is episode four. Um, the reason why I wouldn't know is because I, I'm i kind of caught up in the middle of something trying to get back. And I don't, I'm not currently looking at my screen uh, for, for my videos and stuff. We're almost back home. I just need to, ah! all right. We got a couple new people on the server. And so that's what I was doing. Most people are still starting out on the server, so this is going to be makes sense. Great, yeah. I 
I have villagers, so all of my stuff, um, except the horse armor. Yeah. The horse armor is from an ancient city, which it's. Oh, cool. There's a there's a lot of ancient cities nearby. There's one on the mountain that has spawn, and then there's another one just uh, north. Hold on, no, south. There's two south of it, and they're all kind of in the same mountain range. And so I put my cool. base on that uh, on that mountain range. Um, cool. You can you can come over and use the villagers and stuff, but good to know. Yeah. I usually like to just start yeah uh let's see I'm, i don't know okay cool i will keep that in mind all right in this episode um what i'm planning on is building a stables over here next to the saloon and potentially some other stuff i have some hay bells for the horses and i do have another building i've been working on kind of in the background over here between episodes and Hold on. I forgot I had this, uh, this texture pack on. Hello. It is a nice day we're having. Oh, sorry. Let's, uh, show off this building right here. It's not finished. I need to make a second story. Um, and I, I think I'm going to continue building it through episodes because this is kind of, um, not related to my base necessarily. It will be a part of it because it's an XP farm, but um, this is an XP and enchanter. I got an enchanting table set up right in here. Um, and that's where I moved the one that was just sitting out down the open. I moved it in here. Down here is a, uh, um, I'll show you that in a second, but this is where all the tools are at for like combining armor and stuff. And the interior looks, I think it looks pretty good. We have an XP farm. Now I gotta show you this mistake I made. Um, I put this two blocks lower. So I built the whole room out of it. Um, expecting the farm to function uh, properly. But it, it, they were dying. So they didn't, the, all these uh, skeletons, this is a skeleton spawner. Um, all the skeletons wouldn't, um, they wouldn't get drop XP, they would just die. So we were getting their drops and stuff, but... So I did my math wrong, and I need to go two blocks higher, and that... That wasn't good. Because this whole room, I basically... Well, I won't be moving it up, I'll more be extending the... I more likely will be extending the ceiling, um, so that it's not as, uh claustrophobic in here with the stairs going up like this and then your head hitting the ceiling oh yeah now we got an xp farm um very very early game xp farm i'm thinking of building the stables right here there needs to be a stable for the saloon specifically i think i'm just gonna start by uh terraining i think i want it this level so kind of well what I'll do is I'll make kind of a a curve kind of this way maybe this this is more like the center piece so okay now I'm just gonna flatten it all out and see what it ends up looking like I'll start placing this and then I'll come back um, after we get a, uh, full, uh, plot of land. Well. Hi, guys. You guys came to look at the new lot? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We we are not prepared for this. Oh no. <laughs> I 
can't uh, keep up with this. I simply do not have strong enough gear. Uh oh. What direction is that? We gotta, we gotta kill the... Count. It's a nice day we're having. 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 Hello. It's a nice day. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that, oh, that makes me so glad that I'm not in hardcore, but still just as stressful to like worry that I'm gonna have to lose some villagers. Now with that out of the way. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and start building this. good because of the rain but we uh completed the stable and i also moved all of the horses into each stable and can confirm that they work as intended this definitely makes a saloon fit a lot more and also makes the street feel like that there's more going on and uh that's a good thing so in the future, I kind of want to add like a train tunnel here, have kind of a rail go across and then to the other side of that uh, cliff. So there'll be a bridge here. That'll be a big project on its own, but um, which is why I'm saving that to tell last. Something that we need to do. We got to finish the second floor and then slap a roof on this, but also kind of make a road down here and I'm wondering if the road should kind of curve down and then go past the saloon right here 
potentially leaving a spot for another building in between so it's kind of like a an alleyway and then maybe there's some rocks and stuff we can add something that i believe is new from in between episodes is this uh rail system before we had just a line going down but i've we've dug it out a little bit more but yeah we've been busy down here too I uh, gathered the supplies that we need to build the rest of the building. I am very disappointed because I spent almost an hour building this house. Uh, building the rest of it, I should say. And... Uh, for some reason, the... My OBS didn't record it at all. I mean, it recorded it, but it's just black. And so that's very infuriating for me because I like, I like showing what I'm doing as I'm building it. I guess we're not all the way, uh, we're not all the way done. One of the things that I want to do is get some texture in. I guess we can still do that on camera. How does this look? I'm wondering what the actual leaves, well, the... All right, well, there's some texture. So at least you got to see some of the building process, but that was that's... Yeah, I'm pretty angry that it didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but... I don't know, we'll do something else. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the upstairs. I'm kind of just make a basic interior for now. I'll decide what functionality it'll have later. Alright, I added some... interior framing. And... It's making this room come together. I The middle area feels... Kind of empty. Well, so it's really, really annoying to walk up here. So I'm going to be terraforming. Wait, what? Okay, the the raid that passed by should have killed you. Let me um put this stuff away. We are pretty much out of time. If I want to release on time, I got to start editing soon. Although there is a lot more I want to do, I just don't think I'll be able to do it right now. All right, but the path is built, so let's look at the path. So it goes all the way up there. There's bamboo in the way. Kind of annoying. Um, but this is the part that I really like. Is down here. I gotta remove this. This kind of looks really ugly. There's this little kind of ledge here and cliff here. And that is starting to look pretty cool. And then the path I, I na is now, is now uh, very smooth. There's some more stuff I gotta do to make this more ingrained into the environment. One of the things might be to give a little bit more breathing room on the side here. Yeah, now, I think if we had like a tree and some shrubbery and some other stuff, this looks very, very good. And then I'm guessing, well, not what I'm guessing, what I want to do is put a bunch of custom spruce trees right along here. So there's kind of like a spruce forest and then also some spruce trees going down so that it's very, it's a very forested location. There we go. Some leaves. All right. That's going to be the end of it for episode four. Uh, see you in episode five. Bye. Uh, welcome back to episode five. I, uh, 
I wish I started recording earlier because I started getting carried away building this railroad. I'm glad not too much has happened. I haven't built like a train or a bridge even, but I moved all the trees out of the way and put them up there so that this area is all this area down here. It's going to be used for a train station. The other thing I built is a staircase that goes up to the trees just for kind of ease of access. I guess the first thing that I want to do this episode is build a foundation for the train station. Obviously the train's not going to be functional. That'd be kind of a nightmare to try and build redstone this early on. And it won't look good, so probably right here is probably going to be the best. Probably not, but it's fine. This is the rest of the train station built. We have a little ticket booth over here. Door over here, no interior yet. We have a sign for all the trains. We also got some detail on the tracks itself. We also got this bridge. This bridge was pretty simple to make and I didn't really think about time-lapsing it or montaging it simply just because it's fairly boring. We got that done. So for this episode, not only did I want to build this bridge and this train station and stuff, but I also wanted to summon the wither and defeat it. I really want a beacon. So let's head in the nether and then start hunting. No, 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 I, shut I up. Need him. Guys, I actually need him back shut down up. here, please. I, I have no, something I need no, to do with him. No. Actually, all of you. I'm getting back down. I need, I need, Move I need, I need, I need all of you. I swear, if somebody is in front of me blocking my way, I'm gonna smite them with my sword. Yes, I'm eating my chicken all right, all right, because everyone follow me. me. Let, let, let me take. Oh, we'll guys, I don't like. <laughs> Get out of my way! Let, let. It's <laughs> Diamond, diamond, look for diamonds. Ooh. What the heck? Oops. What the heck? What the heck? No. <laughs> you guys kill it. I lost my sword. I lost my sword. What is going on? No. Hey, everybody on me again. Where, when, and how? Ow. No. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's my sword? Ah. Yeah. 
My strategy is just go back and forth. Stuck in the cubby hole. Hold on. Eat, everybody eats. I'm fine. Diamonds! See, that's how we do our mining here. A lot more creative than everybody else's. Alright. We can go back to the right. surface now. Are you kidding me? Mind the boss one. No. He actually lost us. He's like, this whole thing. What else? Bye. You big troll. Ow. <laughs> that was so awkward of an escape. That was, <laughs> no. that was one of the funniest die. ways to just die. De defeat the wither. Oh, wait, yeah. Chris, get in the back one. I'm in. Okay, now press the button. <laughs> press the button again. Are we all just fat? Is that like... <laughs> Everyone press W when he presses it. <laughs> Nothing. All right, let's do that again. Three. Hold on. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> almost. That was on. almost good enough. Try again. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, I missed. Oh, I'm off! <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> We're literally fast. No, wait, wait. Who pushed us down? <laughs> oh, <shit>. No. no. <laughs> No, get back up there! <laughs> get back up there. Wait, where's my minecart? What? Finally. Ah! <laughs> ah! You got it? No! You're gonna need a little push. No! You <laughs> sent a no? minecart up without someone in it! No! We're stuck down oh, no. here forever. We can't go back to the surface. <laughs> Oh, I'm in it. I'm in it. Yes. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> Am I going to make it all the way up? Ow! Ow! No! <laughs> Minecart's back in the system. Hold on a second. Uh... We only have three minecarts in there. We need a lot more in there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he looks like a spinning Beyblade. <laughs> Let's go in the opposite direction. direction. Slow this down. Oh my gosh, I feel so sick. Wait, get all the way back, Chris. Go, go. Go. Ah! I I uh, fell behind. <laughs> I, I I shifted off of my horse because I was trying to sprint. Ah no! Really? Is this... You can sprint? No, dude! You cannot overpass me! This <laughs> robot. No. <laughs> okay, go again, go again, go again. It is the fastest. No. Well, what? Okay. No. <laughs> That no! It's a late start! No! <laughs> no! You're joking! No! No! Move! No! Oh crap! Go! Go! I'm just gonna keep going straight. I'm not no! moving. No! Cheating? You cheater! Oh, I'm winning! <laughs> ow! 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 ow, ow. ow. <laughs> well, I, which... All the way to the wall. This is the last one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Get, get on the horse. Okay. Here we go. Three. You sounded like an Ewok for real. Go. Go. go! No! I just got stuck. No, stop cheating. Wait, dude! <laughs> he's, he's on the railing! He's literally on the railing. Wait, me? Back. Oh, I got cheating. No, 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 no. I win! I win! I win! 
<laughs> no, no, you cheater. No, no, you cheater. I didn't cheat. You guys <laughs> cheated. What's the one that cheated? Opening the door. Hold on, I can't hear you guys now because I I muted. Yeah, you muted. There we go. You want to see, you want to see something ah. funny? What? Like a trick, okay? If you like create a vent, like the boat I'm building right now. Welcome back to episode 6. In this episode, I thought I would relax a little bit more. I thought today I would change the pace and get the basic farms out of the way so that I don't have to worry about them for the rest of the series and get the essentials ready for the future. I also thought, why don't we get some armor trims and potentially get some netherite. In this episode, I also build a barn. You actually can already see it in the cinematic, the intro, but that way the cows and chickens are not out in the open and they're contained. As you can see behind me, I have a setup for a new barn building I'm gonna do. I finally decided that I would take care of these animals and give them a place to live until I eat them. That's what this is going to be. Now what I'm gonna do is just quickly build this up. Now before we see the montage of the barn being built, I need to show you my luck on trying to find armor trims. Specifically the netherite smithing template. That's the one I need. Oh, come on. I yeah, I'm a monster on it. Ooh. Okay, it looks like we're gonna run out of room at the stables. That was some extreme luck, not just finding them, but also being able to kill the skeletons and not the horses. The barn is mostly done. The exterior is about finished. I'm gonna add some foliage and bushes and some other stuff. But generally, I'm pretty satisfied with the shape of that. There's some, there's a couple of details that I'm going to add so that it's not just a building, but that's the general shape that I'm looking for, so that's pretty good. Alright, now what I'm gonna do, I got to find a good spot first, but I want to make a sugarcane farm and a bamboo farm. I guess over this way is all the farms and stuff, and maybe somewhere over here? I'm assuming there's gonna be, there's gonna need to be some sort of road right here to the creeper farm that red monster thing is building. Maybe right here. Now I have enough resources to build the sugarcane and bamboo farm. It would probably help if I got bamboo and sugarcane to put inside the farm. Yoink. I don't remember where I put the bamboo. Here's some. All right, let's build this.
Oh, it's, uh, so if you're looking at what's in my hand here, you don't actually see exactly what this looks like because you don't have the updated texture pack. But I know what that is. That is netherite. It's a netherite sword. You know what I got for the boys? Okay, wait, no, no, wait, wait, let me duplicate them. I went solo into the ne nether and I found uh, trim, uh, the, no, not trims. I found the heckin' netherite transmutation tablet thingy that we need because y'all were looking in a stables bastion and I went and found a treasure bastion. Y'all really just checked the worst bastion in the game. It was the closest bastion. It's the though. worst bastion. Like it's, it's Stables has closest. like nothing. All right. Now that has happened, we can finally look at this building. Inside this building, it's kind of loud in here because of the mine carts. Maybe let me turn that down. Anyway, so we have a sugarcane farm. Any moment this should go off. Basically what's going on, if I if I just kind of, if I go back here, kind of a little dig. Um, You know what? It's not really showing that well. Let me cut to a creative world to show you what the farm looks like and potentially how to build it. This is the full farm. So what will happen? This will grow up of course and this is a very simple design everybody knows this one so i don't know if i'll go into that much details but it's very slick because there's hardly any redstone literally one line of redstone and one observer and this is a design that i can improvise on the spot i literally just made this kind of out of habit because this is this isn't like a patented de design or anything at least i hope not i don't i'm not intending to steal the key things is is like the collection system minecart and this one it was having problems with just one so I put two hoppers. That's what's going on in my survival world. So now you know a little bit what's going on. This exact farm is also just mirrored on the opposite side. There is no water because bamboo does not need water, but it is literally the exact same farm. And with that, the episode is over. I'm unfortunately out of time for everything. I will be posting more cinematically styled videos. Uh, including more montages and more just generic cinematics. Look at this farm. That's really big and kind of out of place. That is all I have. So see you next episode. Bye.